Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for attending the talk. Uh, my name is Soheb. Uh, I'm a doctoral researcher at Tampere University, Finland, and I will be presenting our paper, Port Contention for Fun and Profit. Uh, this is a joint work between Tampere University, Finland, and uh, Technical University of Havana, Cuba. Uh, let's start by introducing uh, a new side channel technique. We call it Port Smash. Uh, uh, the, the technique targets the shared execution unit in simultaneous multi-threading environments by monitoring the port execution uh, usage of secret data dependent control flows. Uh, now you must be wondering from port contention where does port smash comes from. from. So in this talk I'm going to uh, explain how uh, our new side channel technique uh, uh, f how using port contention we can actually create a timing side channel. Uh, th this is a figure uh, of uh, a typical uh, modern microarchitecture. Uh, it's been taken from the internet, so this should be pretty close to the actual uh, architecture. Uh, as we all know, the traditional approaches to uh, the microarchitecture design has focused more on the performance uh, while limiting the silicon area and, and uh, power dissipation. So more, more and more components are uh, coming closer to the processor. Uh, for example, to reduce uh, latencies for DRAM accesses, we got caches. And then uh, for in increasing throughputs, we have pipelining. Different buffers in the pipelining stages, we have branch predictors and we have uh, speculation, uh, speculative ex execution. On the uh, instruction level parallelism, uh, we can either uh, have uh, two different physical cores. Uh, like we can replicate the physical core, or uh, we can use uh, simultaneous multi-threading. So the idea of SMT is to have uh, two logical cores per uh, physical core, where each logical core has its own uh, uh, architecture state on uh, some set of registers and uh, they share uh, some of the components of the physical core such as uh, the L1, L2 cache and uh, execution uh, engine in this example here. So due to the inherent nature of uh, uh, sharing resources in SMT architecture, uh, Security researchers started looking into it that, uh, is, is it possible to leak sensitive information um, by having contention on these subsystems? Uh, in his pioneer work, Percival in 2005 uh, demonstrated that uh, a shared L1 data cache can leak uh, information and that was used to recover RSA key. And later on, uh, IMU specific to the Pentium 4 uh, processors, um, which was uh, shared among logical cores, was targeted again on a, a real world application. Then there was an attack on L1 instruction cache. Again, this was uh, an SMT environment, a shared resource. And very recently, uh, cache bleed, which uh, instead of attacking the cache line, uh, it was uh, targeting uh, offsets within the cache line. And finally, just last year, uh, another shared resource, uh, T which is uh, TLB, which is partially shared, was uh, exploited to recover keys from ECDS and RSA. <clears throat> and where we come, uh, we are focusing on execution engine and uh, how the contention on the ports uh, can actually leak information. So let's zoom into uh, the execution engine. So here's, uh, we have a simplified uh, uh, figure of how uh, an execution engine looks like. Uh, on a high level, we have some instructions which are fetched, then they are decoded into smaller micro operations. And these micro operations are scheduled to be executed in different uh, execution units. So uh, the scheduler keeps a queue of these micro operations and they are channeled through different ports uh, to be executed. There is a port contention whenever uh, two or more uh, micro operations are, uh, uh, are, are issued to the same port. When we discovered uh, first about this port contention, uh, we started looking into related work and, and we came across uh, this very interesting blog post uh, from Fog. Uh, this mentioned about a, a tool called Covert Shotgun, and the idea was to 
uh, try to find uh, uh, contention in subsystems and SMT architectures uh, while pair of instructions were running. Uh, the the post a blog post uh, specifically mentioned about uh, congestions due to execution unit and ports uh, and also caching of de de decoded micro operations. Now, there were uh, two open questions. First, uh, <clears throat> which subsystems were getting uh, uh, congested by by the uh, in pair of instructions? That is the source of leakage. And then uh, whether that source of leakage uh, could be used to uh, create a side channel attack. So in other words, from covert channel uh, to, to a side channel. And in port smash, we have tried to uh, fill this research gap. So what is port smash? Uh, again, it uh, exploits the shared execution engine, um, and creates a timing side channel due to port contention among two processes running on different logical cores and same physical core. So in order to empirically verify that there is indeed a port contention and, and there is some kind of a core channel to secretly communicate, we performed an experiment on Intel Core uh, KB Lake processor. Uh, we selected a set of instructions based on their uh, performance characteristics and also uh, their port user footprint. Uh, uh, we had to, uh, we created two uh, logic processes on different logical cores. Uh, we call them Alice and Bob here. Uh, we decided uh, that for sending a bit zero, we would use uh, or execute instructions on, through port one. And for sen sending a bit one, uh, we would uh, execute uh, instructions using port five. So. Uh, LS starts listening uh, on port one, uh, and then uh, Bob uh, executes some instructions on port five, and uh, LS looks at the values of the latencies here. And then the same when Bob uh, sends a, a one, a, a zero, sorry, in this case. So it started uh, issuing instructions on uh, port one, and there's a contention, so we can see the clock cycles went up, uh, and this means there was a zero uh, being sent to Alice. So now that uh, we have uh, seen that there is some kind of a covert channel going on, and that uh, two uh, processes, uh, uh, Alice and Bob, on, on different logical cores, their performance depend on each other's port usage, can we use that to actually spy and create a timing side channel? <clears throat> so for that, we created a spy process here. Uh, you can see the, uh, there are diff three different configurations here. One is on port one, then there's port five, and then there's port 0156, depending on the instructions that, that we have selected. <clears throat> the spy would, uh, based on one of the uh, configurations, uh, start running these instructions uh, while uh, computing the latencies. We created a victim process. Uh, here you can see uh, there is a, a condition based on the secret bit value. It will either take the first branch or it will jump to the second branch if the bit value is one. Now the tag starts when the spy is, uh, when we uh, run the spy. Uh, here we configure the spy on port one. So the spy is, list, the spy is uh, executing instructions on port one and waiting for the uh, vic uh, victim to start running its code. So when the victim is, uh, when there's a bit zero, the victim will start uh, executing the first part of the branch. And if you can see here, uh, for both on port one, there's a port contention. We get a timing side channel, and we have uh, higher latencies here. And uh, when the victim uh, is on the other branch, uh, the latency 